jammed his spear into a rock. Back at immigration. That's not looking good. <laughs> This week, we're in Labby and Bajo waiting for our visa extensions to be processed. Today, while Lee went into town for boat stuff, the kids and I had some fun. Our friends of Sailing on Paradise are always up for a good time and they joined us. We think maybe the pillow needed some more air. The guys that worked here pumped the pillow full of air, but maybe it's just a dud. But we had heaps of fun trying, and there were plenty of stacks. Today, we are on a mission to find a waterfall. Here's Ollie and Alana riding our wake, or should I say, surfing our wake. We headed into town to find some transport. <laughs> There's a bee. <laughs> Everyone's scared of the bee. <laughs> you scared of bees, babe? I'm fine. Oh, you're not scared of bees, yeah, <laughs> After not much luck, we decided food was a good idea. <laughs> Oh, it's <laughs> Alright, so we got a beam over but I uh, feel bad because they just kicked out all these passengers for us. Sorry! Sorry! Uh -uh. We got in the BMO but the BMO just got the flat so uh, we don't know where we are but we're in front of a rice paddy. What happened was the BMO's wheel studs blew off. So yeah. probably not the best idea to keep going. Oh. <laughs> Alright, no waterfalls oh, guys. <laughs> Our BMO driver phoned a friend and we got in another one to continue our journey. Alright, so we in another one. <laughs> Thank you. And it was a bit of a drive, so lucky the wheels on this BMO stayed on. Right, 
We arrived and paid our thousands to get a guide and continued the search for these waterfalls. Nice to meet you. Abdul. Abdul. Yeah, nice to meet you. The bridges over here are constructed and engineered to strict uh, regulations. regulations. regulations yeah. You got to bend that wire over so it doesn't slip through. We all had a go at finding our inner Tarzan and check out the waterfalls.
Our waterfall adventure was awesome. Time to head back. decided a few drinks and dinner at Paradise Bar with Ollie and Alana was a good idea. So at sunset, it's a bit busy. Everyone's popping out their phones for a sunset photo. It's a bit on. It's a bit on, it's hectic. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, we didn't, the kids don't have their drink. <laughs> Cheers, kids. That was a good day. Right, we're going spearing. Boys are going scary. I've been spearing for like five minutes. <laughs> Lisa jammed his spear into a rock trying to get a cray. Yeah, it was stuck in there pretty good too. The boys tried many times. Then thought to tie a rope on the spear and pull it with the tender. But that didn't work. One more find or jiggle and... Hot water from the telltale on the outboard. Aren't they the sweetest? So we finally got the call to go to immigration and uh, hope we're hoping, we don't know what's going to happen yet, but we just got over <laughs> to shore and got the tent, I got out and uh, I don't have any shoes. This is daddy who took them out of the tent. So we're going to have to go find some thongs first because <laughs> it was a bit of a trip back to the boat and then back in again. So. Oh well. So usually a BMO will come past any moment now. Any moment. <laughs> no luck, so we walked on into town. These will do. One dollar fifty later and I was good to go. So we're back at immigration. It's not looking good. <laughs> They've just gone on break. <laughs> good news this morning. We got a call from near our sponsor and she said we can come into immigration and they're going to finish the procedure. So we're going to get our extension finally. <laughs> Usually we're stuck in these exotic locations due to uh, mechanical issues, but mm. not this time. Not this time. This is our first time we've had a, a problem um, getting an extension. Usually a maximum it takes like two days. This has taken over a week, so we're excited to leave. <laughs> so let's just hope today goes smooth. <laughs> time for some more waves, I think. Yeah. We're getting get closer to Bali now. Yeah. A couple of really cool islands, Lombok and Samboa, which we're going to pass on the way. So, good news, we got our fingerprints and photos and all that stuff done this morning at immigration. And then our sponsor is going to pick up our passports this afternoon and bring them to us. So, we should be good to leave tomorrow morning. Thank goodness, because it's actually a holiday here for the next two days. So, we would have been stuck for another few days if it didn't get done. So. They are ready. Here's some 
some advice from Mum. Always stop and take time to smell the flowers. So we finally got our extension. Where you in? Hold on, we can leave. Hasn't been too bad. It's still pretty beautiful here. Look, we're pulling anchor in Lobby and Bajo. Anchor's coming up and we're heading off. We bought up half the ground at the same time. <laughs> Little bit of wind, not much wind, but we're heading straight into it anyway. And we're just going back into Kanamoto National Park. But there we had dolphins at the bow not long ago, and I missed them. They were tiny little ones, too. Look at the color of this water, though. It's a bit magical. It's a bit exciting to be back out away from the land. Having a cuppa. I'm just having a cuppa, mate. So we're back where we were anchored in that little hole in here not long ago before we went to Lobby and Bajo. It's behind there, there's a mooring buoy. We were hoping to get on there again, but there's a boat. So our next option is to go through this gap and anchor on the other side because I think there's anchorages. But what a day! Absolutely beautiful. There is not a breath of wind, just sunshine and clear water. So I can't wait to get into this ocean. Ah. On this island. So we were only here a couple of weeks ago and we just noticed look at the mountains. These islands, they've been burned since we've been here. There must have been a big fire. It's completely black. The entire island is black. That's really sad. But we've got footage from being when we were here, so we'll compare it from when we were here last time, but it's crazy. And we actually heard that there was a fire at Komodo, but we didn't know that's where it was. There was apparently a party or a wedding or something, and they burnt a fire something got out of control but that's a big fire that whole mountain is burnt that's a lot of fire it's crazy I still can't get over that that is completely been burned it wasn't green green but it was like this island so I'll zoom in see there's like grass and trees anyway we're about to come through what they call the shotgun diving site because the current races through here at the right time and you get a bit of a ride we came through here and did a free dive last time we were here and I saw heaps of fish actually there's heaps of fish we didn't see mantas but we saw mantas from the boat when we came through and there was a fair few sharks so it was a very cool snorkel but look at the water. Oh yeah. The water looks so good. And I wanted to jump in and lead a tow me through here, but he thinks that I need to be up here and keep watch. It's a bit selfish of him, I think, really. Hey? Okay. Just want to jump in the water, Captain. I'll be in there soon enough. That'd be nice though if he just towed me through. It's Medicaid watch. So that's what I will do. Make sure we don't run a reef. Run aground, hit anything. So I'm gonna perch my bottom up here and keep watch. Because eyes are the best way to keep watch. You can have all the fancy navigation equipment you like, but the best way is uh, with your eyeballs. And height, climbing the mast is the best way too. 
but I'm just going to sit here because look at this water, it's absolutely clear. I'm going to put the camera down because I get distracted very easily. So I'm going to do my best job at keeping watch. Anything happens, I will pick it up again. There we go, we've come through. So we've decided to keep going to the next anchorage. I just jumped in and had a swim. The water's amazing. And now uh, we're just gonna keep going. It's only, what, 10 nautical miles away? So we haven't been there before we've been back there, so we thought we'll just keep going to our next one. So we can hang out for a couple of days, maybe. So we've arrived at our anchorage for the night. And we can't wait to show you what we see here. All right, I'll give you a hint. It starts with M and rhymes with Fanta Sway. So join us next time to see what the hell I'm going on about. Okay, we swim with manta rays. So that was episode 106. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. We had heaps of fun and we wanted to let you guys know that our friends on this episode that you've seen a little bit of are of Sailing on Paradise, Oli and Alana, and if you haven't checked out their YouTube channel, you should hop over there right now and go and subscribe. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, you should probably do that as well. And give us a thumbs up for this video if you liked it. And if you want to know what we're up to right here, right now, then head over to our Facebook page and Instagram page at Sailing with Helper and you can see what we're doing. We're actually sailing on our way to pick up a new crew, crew member, which is very exciting. So stay tuned. We're going to have someone jump on board very, very soon. Not that you guys will see it soon. Our videos are a little, little bit behind. So like I said, go to our social media sites if you want to be up to date with Catalpa. Hope you're having a beautiful day from all of us aboard Catalpa. We love you so much and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. We just want to say a massive thank you to all our patrons because without you guys, these videos wouldn't be possible. It all comes all thanks to you all. All thanks to y'all.